What's up, guys? Court order here. We got an old house here. We're in a new town. If you can see the little circus sign down here, the house was built in at least 1822. I was talking to the homeowner. She thinks it might be built even older. They got a decent sized front yard. It's a little small up near the street, but they got a big backyard. So we're going to roll the dice and see how we do. So uh, we're back on the first dig. Hopefully, we find some good stuff, and uh, we'll catch you guys soon. See you later. Ah, what year was your dime? Oh, modern 2000 dime. On right, my first hole of the day, I went down. There was a bottle cap, and I was like, oh, that's a crappy start. Uh, I rechecked the hole. There was more signals. I pulled two nails out. Even more signals went down deeper and got this spoon bowl. Uh, this was ultimately probably about maybe six inches down. So uh, pretty cool. Just a bowl. Nothing too ornate or fancy on it. But, uh, you know, I do like that. Teaspoon size. So, like I said, I'm just starting the front yard, and the house goes back to, uh, it was built in 1822. And it's got a good-sized backyard, too, so I'm hoping we'll find some good stuff today. All right, my second find of the day. I'm right up near the street. Uh, Kyle's up there. The front yard, like I said, is not huge, so we're going to knock that out and then go to the back. But I got a key. I can't imagine it's very old. It's got some color up on the top. See, it's got some markings on there. I don't know. There you go, it says coal. Oh, pretty cool. I do like this soil though. You can tell that this is not fill dirt. This is original old soil. So it's just a matter of uh, swinging the coil over something good. So, uh, cool tree here, the homeowner, Jim, is a Civil War reenactor. He's getting ready to go to a thing today. He's in the band. He plays, what did you call this horn, Jim? It's an over-the-shoulder bass sax horn. An over-the-shoulder bass sax horn. I, and I tuba. asked him if he'd even play a few notes for me. So go ahead, Jim. <laughs> that is awesome. What are the odds of me knocking on someone's door who's, who's a Civil War reenactor? That's great, man. Thanks Excellent coming, job. Man. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, guys, we'll be it. back. All right, my first decent coin, I found a spill out front. There was about eight pennies in it, but they were all from the 70s. This one I just dug down, not that far. You can see the ground's kind of clumpy, and uh, it's hard to tell, but it's a wheat penny. It's still in the clump here. I didn't break it out. Sometimes you'll find them cool like that. I'm going to bust it out. Dump. So it's officially out. And uh, I was getting a weird signal. There's a chance there could be more than one. Like I said, the house goes back to the 1820s. Obviously, a wheat painted does not go back to the 1820s. Looks like it's from the 40s, 1940 something. So I'll take it first wheat painting of the day. I'll recheck the hole. Like I said, the front yard was not very big here. Um, we knocked that out probably in like five minutes. So now Kyle and I are going to walk the back. The backyard goes back pretty far. And there's an old building over there too. She told me I could do up against that building. Uh, and of course, I always ask, oh, you got any friends around here? Any neighbors? So hopefully they turn you on the other house. If not, I'll just walk and see. Uh, but that's what it is. You get to one, guys, and start networking. Uh, hopefully if this town works out well, I'll come back here for a while too. All right, let's keep going. All right, we're working away from the house. There hasn't been a lot of finds yet, but Kyle had a hay. The hay was because you, you found one of these on oh, our other yeah, hunts. Oh, yeah, the J.P. Perkins uh, Flower Company. Yeah. Now, uh, yours says Medford, Oregon on it. Yeah. But it's mine got a was in New number. York. It's the in the back. I guess it's the kind of rose interrama. Yeah, yours has like a... Uh, yeah, mine's much better. Yours is much, much better. <laughs> Yours is much better. Mine was garbage. I was telling Kyle, I think we're uh, spoiled from the last town we were at. We, even the garbage was good finds over there. So uh, it's going to take me a while to get back to everyday houses. But, uh, you know, this house was built 1822. We've got a long way to go. So I'm not giving up yet. I'm just spoiled how good we had it for a while. All right, guys. I've been, Kyle and I have been getting a lot of garbage in this yard. I came around here, this was in the high 40s, low 50s, and I'm thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna dig it. I popped down, it was only about two inches down, 
it's still in the clump. Look at that Whoa. ring. Is that a Masonic ring? I think it's a Masonic ring. Let me see if I can get some of the dirt out. You can see the impression still on there. Wow, that's nice. It was not very deep. Where did that come up? It came up low 50s, high 40s, and I was like, ah, I'm just gonna dig it and see. I don't know if it's silver or just, I mean, the insides clean up pretty sharp. I'll have to look for a marking. It is big. I mean, uh, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm about 6'3", 6'4", and it easily fits over my ring finger. There's my middle, well, I might not fit on my middle finger. Look at that hunkin' sucker. Yeah. Beautiful piece, our best find of the day so far easily. Yeah. Awesome. All right, there it is up close. I'm not sure, I couldn't see what Kyle recorded or not. In the middle of that Masonic is clearly the letter G. I don't know if a letter G is on all the Masonic symbols or if it could be an initial for the person's name. I tried to look for a hallmark inside. I don't see any yet. But uh, totally take that sucker, even though I just dropped it. So, uh, all right, awesome find. All right, I might have found a little stretch. I'm coming down. I got the Masonic ring right here. I filled it back in. I swung over right here. I had a really loud high tone. I dug it down. I didn't even uncover it yet. Actually, you know what? I thought it was a coin, but now that I'm looking at it. Look, it's a big giant button. This could be a big giant dandy button. Hang on, let me clean this up and I'll be right back. Use electrolysis. <laughs> Kyle just came over to help me. Here it is, guys. It is huge. If it is a coin, it would be really old. You could see it's not quite even round anymore. I can't tell if there's any markings on it from the side. It sure looks like a coin. It wouldn't be a slug. If it is a coin, it would be really, really old. But I just can't get any markings off it in the field. And it was not deep, maybe three inches deep, right next to where I got the Masonic ring. So uh, when it dries off completely, I'll go at it with a toothpick and maybe get some detail. But at the moment, I'm just going to say I don't know. Yeah. All right, let's keep on going. All right, we're both finding some decent stuff. Kyle got, it looks it's, like a decorative. Kind of decorative edge. Could be a, a, a tack, gear maybe? A or gear attack. or a tack. I'll clean it up and see what it is. And then I just got this, which I think is some sort of a clip but it looks like there's writing up on the top this came up in the low to mid 60s i knew it was going to be something in that brass category you see at the top it says it looks like e-r-t-l-l -L. wasn't that a car like a toy car or urtle i don't know if it's a hook or urkel he was on not there. urkel not like uh what was his catchphrase urkel can i do that <laughs> not, not that guy <laughs> but uh yeah i mean i don't know if it's a hook or some sort of a clip but there's clearly a name at the top. So that's a cool relic. I will totally take that. Curious what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Kyle's curious. And nothing wrong with that. Imperial, I think it says. Oh, really? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, he could be right. I don't know. But uh, hey, good find. I'll take it. At least I want some interesting relics now. So, all right. Get back. I'm going to do a live one here. This is very, very shallow. Right here, right under the surface. But it came up in 81. It's going to be a dime, most likely. So maybe it'll be a silver, even though it's shallow. Even though it's shallow, uh, this part of the yard does not get a lot of traffic. Oh, did I just stab it? I just stabbed it. All right, so look at that. Oh, it's got some markings on it. I thought it was a dime. Of course, this is not a dime. This is some sort of a... Ah, oh, look, you can see the shape of it. 
I don't know if it's off of a piece of furniture. It's, it's really corroded over. Let me turn this off. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to clean this up. So, uh, it's a relic. I have no idea the year or what the heck it is yet. But, uh, pretty cool. Not that deep as you saw, guys. Maybe two inches down. So, cool find. Don't tell me it's a seed of dime. No, I just had Kyle come over. I was digging another one here. It was iffy, but it was in the low 60s. You would have dug it. I had a hard time finding it. Look at this. You ready, Kyle? I'm going to show it to the world and you at the same time. Look at that. Ooh. If you can see it, it is a guy riding a griffin. <laughs> it's a flat button. I just dropped it. Hold on. It's a flat button. You can see the shank on the oh, back. Oh, cool. But it is a guy riding on a lion. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. That is incredible. That is neat. He's got wings, too. It might be an angel or something. I'll clean it up better. That is an incredible yeah, find. That's neat. Cool button. Awesome. Oh, man, I love that. I'm going to marry this. <laughs> Super happy with that. All right, guys, I was just digging down. I had another really good signal. Low 60s, I was like, what the heck? And I just got a second of that same button. And it's hard to see, but if you can see it there, it's a guy. Let's see if I can hold it from the back. It's a guy riding on like a winged horse. This is not the same one. Here's the other one. Now I got two of them, clearly off the same outfit, but it is like a winged man or a winged horse, two buttons, one the shank is straight up, one the shank is bent over. Awesome. I love it. Not far from where I dug the first one either. I'm just kind of going along. I'm approaching this old brick building on the side of her house. It is totally abandoned. I don't know what the heck it was. I think she told me it was a, uh, a pottery factory. I'm working my way back. Kyle is somewhere way back there behind the shed. I don't know where the heck Kyle is. But uh, yeah, in this little stretch here, I won't show you too much of the house, but I got two of those super cool buttons. Could not be happier with them. Now, I was really nervous about leaving our old town Kyle told me he wanted to try somewhere new. I was like, I don't know, man. We've been doing so good in this town. And I'm so glad that we were able to kind of keep the momentum going. I don't know how he went. I haven't found a lot of coins today. No silvers, but what a beautiful button. All right, got a lot of yard to go. It's, it's narrow, but it's long. So uh, let's keep at it. Be back on the next find. All right, not a whole lot of coins today, guys. But... uh. I got my first silver. It's a 1943 Washington Quarter. It's a weird stain on it, on the back too. I'll show you the back in a second. There's the back. I cleaned it already before I got the camera out, but weird half circle stain. So I don't know. But uh, I'll take it. Not a lot of coins today whatsoever, but uh, that's a pretty one. All right, here comes the nibbler. How you making out? What? How you making out? All right, he gave me the shaking side to side head motion. So, uh, all right, keep on rolling. All right, as Kyle was exploring over in the woods, he found this really cool old two man axe. Saw. I'm sorry, saw. Look at that. Yeah, Let the, me see if I can. The handle's still. Yeah, there's still some of the wood handle in there. It's got to be almost six feet long. How tall are you, Kyle? I'm like 5'10. Oh, no, it's not day. six feet, but it's long. That is incredible. I guess two guys would grab one end and just kind of. Let me hold one side. We'll pretend we're making the motion. Two guys would be against a tree like this and just. <laughs> jink, 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 jink. <laughs> That's crazy. Awesome piece. That looked great cleaned up like above your fireplace or something. Really cool. 
I have a bunch of old tools in my garage hanging up old hand saws and stuff. This actually would fit in. Yeah, it looks good. Eyeball fine, obviously. <laughs> All right, the signals have been few and far between in this yard. The nibbler is still working. We're trying to get this grass area. Going to get out of here soon. I did just get another thimble. I think that's two hunts in a row. I got a thimble. Came up in the high 40s, low 50s. Um, so it did not sound great. It's not sterling or anything precious like that. And it's got a big crack in it. But uh, I always like finding thimbles. I've got a little collection of them going. Uh, that's a small one. I don't know if it would fit on my finger, but pretty cool. All right, let's keep rolling. A little bit of the yard left, and we're going to roll on out of here. All right, I know this looks like this plug is a little bit of a mess. I had a hard time pinpointing. It was pretty deep. It was on edge. I hit it with my shovel and kind of flattened it out. But it's in there. It is a silver. It's my second silver of the day. Not many coins today. It's a mercury dime. It's awesome. Like I said, it's been a rough coin day. Looks like maybe a 42. I'll clean it up later when I got uh, my water on me. I mean, this one was hard to hear. This middle dirt, the things have been deep. When I get over to that where there's no grass, everything's been shallow. So, uh, pretty cool. This was right in the middle. All right, let's keep rolling. Anything over there, Kyle? All right, guys, I just dug the mercury dime in this exact hole. I filled it back in, and when I stood up, I swung over it, and I heard something else. So I dug the same hole back up again. I got this, it's still in the clump, and you can see the edge there. This is probably gonna be a button. It's very, very small. Much smaller than a dime. Oh, it's not, it's a, wait, is it a washer? Ah, uh, never mind, it's a washer. I thought it was gonna be a tiny button. Oh well, <laughs> it happens. Kyle's got something going on. I just found this little plate. A plate? Well, not a plate, but you'll see it. It says, re return to something. And then up in the top, you can see it says something about a vacuum. I mean, it's garbage. But can you see it says vacuum at the top and at the bottom it says return. Return something it's or not other. A, it looks like it's just a piece of junk, but I just saw writing on it. It looks like there's a nail in it too. So return if ring is linted? Maybe it's off of a washing machine or something? Oh, it says something about a vacuum. I don't know. Not exactly a treasure. I think it's got lint on it. Kyle's fishing for something down there. Searching for gold. He is. He's searching for gold. Up. All right, if it's good, I'll, I'll be back. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna call it a day. It's getting dark. Not my best yard ever. It's been a, it's been a tough week. I mean, a tough day here. There was not a lot of signals. Uh, for a house that goes back to 1822, just wasn't a lot of signals. Uh, it was good exploring around. I did get a few silver coins. I got some cool buttons. I got that really awesome ring. Um, you know, I can't complain. I wish the nibbler got more. I feel kind of bummed. He didn't get a whole lot. Uh, I asked him, I said, what was the best thing you got today? He said, the flower tag. <laughs> so, uh, you know what happens? I might've just had the hot side of the yard. Uh, we did explore over in that abandoned building a little bit. That was kind of cool, but, um, I think I'm going to get out of here. I'll do a little bit of the side on the way back up that nibbler did on the way down. And I'm going to call it a day. So, uh, all right guys, we'll see you at the wrap up unless I find something awesome later. All right, guys, here's my wrap up from the uh, 1822 house. Not a ton of finds, but you know, it goes that way sometimes. A uh, whole lot of trash, probably three buckets full of trash and uh, got a little bit left, I'm still straightening out. Uh, top row is some garbage, uh, battery clamp, a uh, little thing, a whole bunch of these toothpaste tubes, <laughs> pull tabs through the decades. Uh, what's that, oh, gear. Uh, I got the coal key. I asked the homeowner if it was hers, it was not. Uh, I got the broken spoon bowl. Uh, I got the thimble that broke in half of my bag. It was already badly cracked. Uh, the caster off of maybe a piece of furniture or something. 
Uh, this little flap, it had some writing on it. I just like things with writing. Return if ring is lifted. I don't know, maybe it was like a, some sort of a flap off a dryer or something. I don't know. It's probably going to ultimately go in recycling. Uh, the cool Imperial piece, little hook. It's got the two nail holes in the side. I really like it. It's very, very thin and fragile. So uh, pretty cool. I got this piece that I live dug and it looks like it's a pin or a brooch. And it's very high relief on the front here. I don't know if that's just corrosion or if there was some sort of a design. So I might put this under electrolysis and see this, something like this could be really old. So uh, we'll see. A uh, little metal two-piece button. Uh, these, I got two of them. And uh, you know, when I found them, it looked like this. And when you find this, it's not very exciting. But I started cleaning one and you can see underneath, I mean, it's a button of some sort. It's the exact circumference as a penny. If I put one over top of it, I mean, it's almost exact, a little thinner. But uh, I'm gonna clean it up and see if there's any markings on there. I did get two of them, so uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, I got the two incredible buttons. It is a guy riding on a, like a griffin, like a winged lion. Uh, beautiful. They're both uh, one-piece buttons, shank in the back. I don't see any markings, but uh, man, I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out when these are from, try to get a date, but man, I love them. If you like buttons, they are awesome. And I got two of them, how cool is that? Uh, of course, I got the ring, the Masonic ring. It's got the G on there, like a little arrow, I think, design. I checked it, it's nothing precious. There's no markings on the, on the inside. I did contact the homeowner and asked him if he wanted it. I haven't heard back yet, but uh, if he wants it, uh, you know, he can have it now that I roll it all around. Uh, real quick, I got a couple bottles that were in the woods. I don't know a lot about bottles, but uh, I like the ones that just look cool. I like soda bottles. This one's a Dr. Pepper. I looked at the patent number at the bottom. It's from 1961, I think. 71, I'm sorry. Uh, I got this Pepsi bottle. It's a swirl. And... Uh, it's dated on the bottom 1959 the patent date and what's cool about this is up here on the logo on this side if you look in between Pepsi and Cola it's got two dots and apparently that might be a rare one uh, mostly it's usually one dot or later ones had a hyphen but to have those two dots is a pretty scarce logo uh, so pretty cool I'm gonna put this in my collection for sure I love old soda bottles so uh, that's a nice one and let's get this giant old fruit jug and probably fit in the garbage or something but it's all glass just thought it had a cool design uh coins i got 11 uh modern memorial pennies i think the one was from 1959 i think it's a d so uh first year memorial pretty good uh two modern nickels four dimes three modern quarters i got this piece i put it next to the quarter for scale i don't know i can't make out much on it. if you look right at my fingers you can almost see like a like an eight or a zero, it's hard to see. And uh, I don't know if this is a slug or if it's a coin that maybe was smushed, it's still pretty thick. I, don't know, I figure I'll show it in case anybody out there can maybe figure out what the heck it is. Um, I don't know, if it is a coin, it seems like an old one, it's not even round, it's like kind of just weird shaped. But I thought that was awesome when I got out of the ground, but I'm not so sure. Uh, I got four wheat pennies. I don't know if any of them were really old. 40s, 50s, 50s, and maybe 50s, I don't know. And then two silvers, uh, 42 mercury dime, and a 43 Washington quarter. Six weeks in a row with a silver quarter. That's got to be some sort of record for me. But uh, yeah, that was my find, guys. So Newtown, uh, not bad. Uh, I did decent. I felt, felt bad for the nibbler. Uh, he didn't get a whole lot. I might have just had the hot side of the yard. That happens sometimes. I'm sure he'll bounce back next time. Um, for anybody who cares, usually this time of year, I kind of go away from YouTube for a couple of months. This is a busy time of year. The kids with their sports and things are going on. I usually take a few months off and then come back. So uh, I'm going to stick around somewhat. I won't post every Thursday. Uh, but I'll be up sporadically and I will do the live streams probably every other week or something like that And then I'll come back in normal force around January February. I'm gonna play it by ear It's just a lot of work in these videos done. I don't have a lot of time this time of year But uh, otherwise guys, thanks a lot. I appreciate you watching happy hunting. I'll see you guys in the next one later